just want to do a very quick update. Um, this is the latest painting that I've just finished. It's a 60 by 50 centimeter canvas. It's a mixed media painting. Uh, the background in the sky here is in oils, and the foreground with the boats is done in ink. Uh, sorry, acrylic and ink. And when I say ink, what I actually mean is I'm using uh, Posca markers, which are sort of fine line paint pens. Um, normally used in graffiti and stuff like that, but I use them quite a lot in painting for doing very, very fine lines. I find it a heck of a lot easier and a hell of a lot more practical to use. Um, if you don't know what these boats are, um, it's actually the third time that I've done them. Um, these are the old fishing boats um, just outside Salin on the Isle of Mull. Now, these are probably the most photographed boats in the world, easily. Um, there's actually three of them. Um, there's one, a third one tucked in just behind here. Um, a lot of people see photographs taken from this angle, I just assume that there's two, but there's not. There's actually three. Um, they are called Gil Claire, Pavonia and the LCMA. Um, they're actually owned by a friend's father, um, who's well into his 80s, getting on in his 90s now. Um, so not the, you know, if anybody wants to know what's happening with them, nothing. Okay, they're not going to get restored anytime soon. Um, they will just, you know, a gust of wind's going to come through Salon one night and they're just going to be carried away and that'll be the end of them. They'll float off down the side of the mall and disappear into the annals of history. Um, when they first appeared, they've actually been there over 20 years now. Um, I think if I remember right, they appeared sometime between 1994 and 1996. It's, it's somewhere in between those two years. Um, the owner of them originally had two of them. And the, the idea was to restore these boats and get them up and running again and I don't know whether he was planning to sell them or actually use them, I'm not 100% sure of. Um, I don't think even he knew to be quite honest. But uh, a third one was owned by a friend of his who subsequently moved back down to England and never came back for the boat, never claimed ownership of it so uh, my friend's father reluctantly inherited a third boat. Um, and they've sat there all this time, um, they've, they've kind of become a bit of a a tourist attraction in their own right. A lot of people when they come to Mull, if they're staying up in Tobermory, they'll come off the ferry at Craig Muir and drive up and a lot of people will pull over, stop and take photographs of these boats or certainly, you know, stop and have a look at them for a little while and see how they are. Because, I mean, they, they don't look like this anymore, this picture. This is a photograph that's probably eight or nine years old now um, that I took. Um, the wheelhouses on them are gone, they're just piles of timber now. Um, nothing left there at all. Um, some people, believe it or not, um, will actually get out and climb onto the decks of these boats. Now, ten years ago, yeah, that was quite a feasible thing to do. Nowadays, not a chance. Um, these are actually pretty dangerous condition, um, the way they are just now. Um, so, you know, walking on the deck, it's only a matter of time before somebody goes through the deck. Um, and, and it will happen. I've, I've no doubt about that. If they don't blow away first, that is. Um, this is the third time I've actually done these boats. I've done two drawings in the past. One was a monochrome sketch and one was a full colour one, uh, which was actually auctioned off for Poppy Scotland. There was two friends of mine that um, live on the Isle of Mull who were doing, they're former marines, and they were doing a sponsored yomp around the island with a full bergen um, to raise money for Poppy Scotland. And I donated the original um, artwork. Um, to auction off for that, and that raised a couple of hundred pounds on its own, which we're, you know, we're all quite pleased with. I mean, I didn't expect it to go for as much as that, in all honesty, because um, auctioning off art can be a, a very fickle thing. Um, but this original, this will be getting packaged up tonight and sent off to, with a couple of other originals, uh, to Tobermory Gift Shop um, on the Isle of Mull. So if you are interested in purchasing the original, please contact them. Uh, if you can't get a hold of anyone there, you know, get in touch with me, I'll put an email address below and contact details. Um, there will also be um, mounted archival prints and canvas prints of this as well. Canvas prints go from 20 by 30 centimetres up to 120 by 80 centimetres. Um, mounted prints, um, I generally keep quite small. Uh, don't do them any size over about A3. Um, so the mount size on that is about 20 by 16 inches. Um, and I'll do any size from about 7 to 5 inches up to, to A3 on that. They will be available shortly as well if you're interested. Just keep an eye on Facebook and Instagram, things like that. Um, so you know, if you're interested in prints as well, get in touch with me and I can arrange that for you. Um, I'm really happy to have finally got this painting done. I've had a hell of a lot going on with 
with airbrushing work. There's a, a new custom bike shop in Perth and I'm doing all the airbrushing for them and that is just getting insanely busy. Um, on top of everything else that I have coming in on my own right, it's just getting a little bit out of control, a little bit uncomfortable. Um, because of course everybody wants everything now, they want it yesterday and you kind of have to say, you know, look, just wait, you know, my waiting list is starting to get a bit longer, which is a great thing as an artist, that's, you know, very, very grateful for it. But at the same time, people can be a bit pushy and you just need to get them to back off a little and give you time to actually get the work done. Um, this is a painting that I've had in mind for about five, six years. Um, specifically to sell in the gift shop on Tobermory, it's not, not for any other purpose. Um, so I'm very, very glad to finally got it done. All in from start to finish, it's probably taken about 16 to 18 hours. Um, I've kind of done it in between other jobs. Um, you know, obviously, it's actually taken probably about 10 days um, since I started it to when I actually finished it because of the sky being in oils, I had to leave it for a few days to dry out. The oils are very, very thin, so they dried out quite quickly. And it's actually been quite warm. Um, so that's helped a great deal as well. Um, but yeah, all in, if I was to actually sit down and count the hours, probably about 16 to 18 hours, no more than that. Um, but very, very happy to have got it done, um, finally, once and for all. So that's a little history lesson of the boats if you didn't know anything about them. Um, if you are interested in this at all, just give me a shout and uh, I'll sort you out with something. Um, right. Can't spend too much longer on videos, um, I've got a lot of work piling up and I actually have a rabbit running around at my feet at the minute as well so um, I need to watch him step on him. Um, that's it from me just now, um, I've just picked up some Harley Davidson parts for airbrushing from GM Customs in Perth, it's a mudguard and a tank, I will do a time lapse video of me airbrushing them. I did want to do a time lapse video of this, I was really keen to do it, but just uh, work and everything else in between, I've just not had the time to do it, you know, setting up cameras and then having to edit everything afterwards, takes up a lot of time, and I've been doing kind of 14 to 16 hour days of, of late for the last couple of months, um, so, you know, videos were just out the window, it just wasn't happening, uh, but hopefully I will, I'll, I'll definitely get one done with the, the airbrushing uh, for you guys to watch, and, uh, We'll get some more done of some of the next more projects that I've got coming up as well. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. And as I say, any questions, just drop them down below and I'll do my best to, to answer them. Thanks very much, guys.